In this video, you will learn wire bending of a root wire clasp on a maxillary molar. You will need a bird beak plier, 0.7 mm root stainless steel wire, cutter and a permanent marker. To prepare the master cast for the fabrication of a root wire clasp, make sure that you have completed the following steps. Survey the master cast. Block out undesirable proximal and lingual undercuts using dental plaster. Identify the location of retentive undercuts on the buccal surfaces of the abutment teeth. You will find a detailed description of the surveying and block out procedures in previous videos. Before we start, let's have a look at the requirements of a root wire C clasp. Buccally, the root wire clasp engages a 0.5 mm undercut on the buccal surface of the abutment tooth and should be at least 1 mm away from the gingiva to avoid gingival irritation. Proximally, the clasp is at the level of the survey line and is about 1 mm away from the abutment tooth. This is because the proximal part of the clasp will be embedded in acrylic. Lingually or palatally, the clasp should be about 1 mm away from the tissues. Bend the clasp at the end forming a small tag where the clasp is going to be embedded in acrylic. Begin by drawing the outline of the C-clasp. The retentive part of the clasp engages 0.5 mm undercut on the buccal surface. The outline is drawn below the survey line as this will serve the function of retention provided by the clasp. Proximally, draw the line at the level of the survey line. Extend the line palatally 5 mm away from the midline and draw a small loop where you'll bend the tissue tag. Cut approximately 7 cm of 0.7 mm 18-8 stainless steel root wire. Begin by straightening the wire. For best results, the wire should be held with the pliers and bent with your fingers. Estimate a bend in the wire in a basic curve that corresponds to the surface of the tooth to be clasped. The contoured wire is then positioned on the cast to coincide with the adjusted clasp position. Adjust the curvature of the wire as needed. Now begin to bend the proximal part of the clasp. Mark the buccal proximal contact point of the molar and curve the wire toward the tooth at the level of the survey line. Make gradual bends until the wire is 1 mm away from the tooth. Remember that the retentive arm of the C-clasp needs to be entirely below the survey line of the tooth. To ensure this, mark the buccal proximal contact point, hold the C-curve between the beaks of the plier and make a gentle downward bend. Look now at how the clasp arm is buccally below the survey line, proximally at the survey line and 1 mm away from the tooth. To bend the palatal part of the clasp, mark the palatal contact point and make downward bend toward the cast. Cut the excess length of the wire before bending to make it easier for you at this stage. Hold the two ends of the wire between your fingers while cutting. Now make a downward bend toward the cast. See how the wire is still away from the cast. Make a second bend to move it closer. Remember that palatally the wire needs to be 5 mm away from the midline. Mark the excess length of the wire and cut it safely. At the terminal end of the clasp, make a 1 mm bend toward the cast. This tissue tag will maintain 1 mm acrylic thickness underneath the clasp. The palatal part of the clasp should follow the contour of the palate and be 1 mm away from the palatal tissues. 
make a gentle curve midpoint to adapt the clasp to the palatal tissues. When you finish, secure the terminal end of the clasp with utility wax. Thank you for watching.